Bike check. Bike check. One, two, testing. Bike check. Mm. Wait, let's do a bike check. <laughs> Here we have a total BMX. Good day. Right, so let's get into it. I'm not gonna go absolutely nuts on all the details. If you wanna find them out, you can just go to totalbmx.com and check all the specs of all the bikes on there. Um, totalbmx.com, don't forget that. So, let's get into it. We have got uh, my TWS Ruckus Delight paint job set up right here. Um, start with the handlebars. Uh, these are 9. Uh, yeah, 9.5 uh, rise, these ones, and I think they're about 25 wide, I can't even remember. I'll cut mine down a little bit to be honest here. Yeah. But this is the Ruckus Delight paint job. This thing, this paint job is like the freshest thing. Like it feels so good when you get when you get this little paint job going on. Um, I don't know, it's so refreshing to like, you know, it's not just this color or that color, it's like look, it's a whole combination of these splashes and everything. It's just like, just makes your bike feel so like, I don't know, fresh, it's good. I like it. Um, the bars, there's, uh, there's something to be said about these bars as well. Uh, Remo put in a lot of work to get these exactly how we want them. Um, they don't taper down like so quick here. They like they go past it the, the weld a little bit, and uh, that causes like you know the area to have a bit more meat on it when it's welded. You know, so so um, they're a little bit stronger than uh, your average handlebars, and also the, the piece down in the middle where we clamp the stem up is also thicker as well. Because um, in the past I've broke other other bars in this place here and here, and I'm sure a lot of other other riders have done the similar thing. But these these um, TWS bars, the same as what the GS bars were, are um, thicker in these areas to prevent that from happening. So um, yeah, I I literally like I put my money on these bars. I, I, I swear on these bars. And if you don't trust what you're putting underneath you, then you know you're not going to ride to. You know, like a hundred percent. You're not going to ride hundred percent. So yeah, that's um, that's the TWS bars. Moving on to the TWS forks down here. These things have um, a CNC like cutout dropout. Probably not going to be able to see it right now. Um, but yeah, they're they're a little bit lighter than what the um, the GS forks were, I think. Um, and yeah, again, we've got that Ruckus Delight paint job on there. Um, they feel super good. Super good. They got this cut out for the peg and everything. So yeah, they're um, again. Remo obviously went nuts on trying to better what we had already made with the GS stuff, and and it's yeah, it's come out amazing. And uh, yeah, so I want to just talk about the cranks quickly. Cranks are important to me. No one has ever really like made a set of cranks that I liked other than Primo back in the day with the uh, the power voice. Well, these are the, the Total BMX H2 cranks. These are actually 160, the crank arm size, so super short. Reason for that is, I said to Remo, you know, I broke the axle on the uh, Primo cranks a couple of times, and you know, when you snap a set of cranks, it really puts you off, you think, you know, confidence has dropped, I don't want that to happen again, maybe broke my ankle off or whatever. So, yeah, I went 160s, shorter cranks. Um, it's, a, it's Alex Colborn's signature crank. Uh, yeah, just unbelievable. Never had another set of cranks like other than the Primo cranks that I liked. And to be fair, I'll choose these over the Primo cranks now. Like they're like literally amazing. Like um, over the moon with these. So yeah, you must check out the the Hangover H2 cranks. Um, probably perfect for flat hand bikes as well because of the shorter size or, or even like you know like 18s and stuff. You can put um, you can put these cranks on them because they're super short. Uh, also, it helps with if you're a goofy footed rider and you run pegs, you, your heel's going to be further away from the rear peg. Same as a lead foot rider, if you ever have that weird problem of somehow buzzing your foot on the front wheel, it was, it's going to help prevent that as well because the cranks are shorter. So yeah, you got to check out them. Um, full specs of them cranks are on totalbmx.com again. Um, yeah, moving on to the frame, the TWS frame. We definitely have worked our socks off over the years on developing the frames from you know the V1, V2 to this little number, which is my TWS frame, uh, where we dropped the bottom bracket to increase the standover height, which also increased stability on the bike because then your feet were lower to the ground. Um, I think we, 
again, we um, we had CNC dropouts, so everything's cut out. The dropouts got little adjust uh, chain tensioners in the in the back of the dropout there. Proper stumbled then, like I didn't know what I was talking about. It's actually Baltic in here. I know it looks nice when I've got sunglasses on, but it's freezing now. I can't even think, I've got brain freeze now. Um, anyway, so yeah, again, the Ruckers Delight paint job. Um, yeah, it just, it's so sick. It's the freshest thing. And you can run this like, you know, this little setup with like different combos. Like you could have, you know, black frame. I mean, I think a purple frame, green frame would even look good with these bars and forks. Um, but you can run black frame with, with the Ruckus Delight bars and forks, or you know, you could run this frame, the Ruckus Delight frame with chrome bars and forks or black bars and forks. There's a whole bunch of combos you can do. I've seen it with um, black bars and forks and it looks looks super good. And I also like the, the chrome look, but I'm a fan of chrome forks and bars. So, um, But yeah, this, is, this frame in particular, this is the 20.6, this is the one I run. Um, moving on from there, and I'm going to run through this nice and nice and quick because I don't want to make a meal out of it because I just wanted to talk to you about the important parts of my bike, which are the things that I rely on the most, which is obviously frame forks and bars. Um, but yeah, we're running the, the total. I think that's the Tectanium hub set up, super loud. Lovely. Um, and we're running skinny pegs. We've got the KHE exploding tyres still. Um, probably going to move away from that real soon. Got the colony pedals, you know, I've always sworn by the colony pedals, I absolutely love them. Um, uh, yeah, skinny peg on the front of course, total hubs. Um, we're running titanium spokes, uh, alienation rims, they're the tubeless ones, can't remember what the model is exactly. Um, like I said, going to get through this nice and quick, and I'm still running the old front, front loader stem. I haven't moved up to the uh, top loader, which is all we're actually making at the moment. So I'm still running the old school stem, still going strong. Um, and obviously some TLC bolts in there. Um, Odyssey brake lever, as always, the old Dragonfly cable and ODI O-grips. Um, embroidered seat, got the Total BMX embroidered seat and I'm still running the really old school crappy gyro plate over here um, because it spins faster than anything else which I also like very very accurate um, go on I'll run you through the brake real quick I drill two holes here I use mountain bike noodles and uh, I stop it on this side here and that's like where the outer casing stops to and then it runs down to that crappy e-clap brake down there um, it was just in the garage. Look at that, got a bit of foam. Yeah, a bit of foam put on there. A bit of foam put on there. Guilty! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much all of it. I mean, like I said, you can find all the specs to, to every part that's on my bike here um, on the Total BMX site. So, um, yeah, that's all I'm asking for you, really. Go and check out totalbmx.com. And uh, obviously, this is brand new stuff that's just come out and, yeah, Make a perfect Christmas present, just saying. Anyway, yeah, so thanks for checking out my bike check. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comment. Um, yeah, do what you do. Peace.